making model railroad mountains from TP and plaster on my N-scale model railroad, and we're doing it right now. Hey, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western, welcoming you to my channel. Like I said before, yes, today we are making model railroad mountains out of TP and plaster, basically a homemade sculpt mold alternative, and we're going to do it right now. I'm glad you're here. Stick around. It's a good show. Hey, good morning and welcome back. What I did yesterday afternoon was I scuffed all this pink foam with an 80 grit sandpaper um, with my sander. And then I came back over it with a torch, like a torch you would light a bonfire or something like that with a grill. And uh, I found that it leaves a very nice little pattern that almost resembles smaller rocks in the uh, areas that you focus it on and I kind of really like the way that look the texture that comes out I enjoy that um, it looks good in my opinion we're gonna see what happens the uh, sculptor mold is gonna cover it but it also seems to give it like some teeth it gives it a rigid a rigidity that's gonna help to hold the sculpt and um, I like the indentions that it creates um, I just like the look we're gonna see how it turns out this is a test to see what happens all right, then I took smaller pieces of the foam, as you can see, and I glued them to the pink foam board, and this is gonna create, obviously, a more jagged look, and um, will reduce the need for me to use too much sculpt. See, what I did is I made three pounds, this isn't three pounds by any stretch of the imagination, but I made three pounds of John's Homemade sculpt mold Alternative. I used three parts of this to one part of this, and then I add water to the consistency that I want to a cottage cheese consistency per John's instructions and I apply it to the wall what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be I've got to go over this back wall with the sculptor mold I'm gonna literally be slapping it on just trying not to make a mess covering I mean, I'm gonna cover the track today I don't always do that but I'm gonna do that today because my tracks credit pretty clean and um, I'm gonna cover the track Try not to get the sculpt mold all over the smoking train shed myself, the dog, and the areas that it's not supposed to get on, and just slap it on to cover the pink foam. I'll allow that to dry. I'll come over here and I'll add more of these blocks on this area. I wanted to see how it looked and how they stuck. But assuming everything goes right, I will take more of these and I'll apply them here. I will slap the uh, sculptor mold alternative on this pink foam as well using the same process and then while it all dries I'll stand back and see where I need to get in and do some work. I will come into each section and I'll use these tools the small and the large and we will try to make it look as close as we can to this one. Now, I do need to remind you that as I come this way, we are approaching the Moffat Tunnel. And as we approach the Moffat Tunnel, I have a change in seasons. We are coming into winter, the winter months, as we get into the Moffat Tunnel. This far area is going to be a very, very, on this side, when we're done with the entire layout, is going to be blizzard-like conditions at Winter Park over here where the ski resort's going to be and everything. We'll have the Moffat Tunnel, and as you come out of the Moffat Tunnel, you'll be getting into snow, all right? The snow will deplete as we get towards the Gross Reservoir, come through. This will be a fall area section. If I'm not mistaken, this is fall or spring. No, fall. Fall will be in here, summer's back down here, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to come through this area as the seasons change through my layout. And I say that to you because the rock will take a different look as it gets closer to the Moffat Tunnel. It's also, we're getting, we're gaining elevation. We're going to be getting into some snow. I'm going to get, get into more of a gray rock from the brown rock as I get closer to the Moffat Tunnel. And then we'll be coming over and from about here on, we'll start dusting snow and stuff as we come in when we get closer to completing the layout. All right, everybody, I'm gonna put you back on time lapse. I'm going to be uh, mixing the homemade sculptor mold alternative, as I said, crudely plastering it over the pink foam, allowing that to dry, and then taking a look at it from the back 
I'll mix the sculpt -a mold alternative, crudely slap the plaster over the pink foam, and then come back in and do a more defined focus on each section on actually how I want the rock face to turn out. Alright, we got this side covered. Um, only a little bit of work we need to do over here before we can put the base coat of paint on it. Um, what I'll do from that point is once I get the base coat down, I'll know where I want to add some stuff. I'll get a better visual of how it looks and I'll know where I want to add more bumps and crevices and those kind of things. Um, I did run out of my homemade sculpt mold alternative and I had a pound of paper pulp from Hobby Lobby. Um, that ran out of that and I went to Michael's and they have a fast mache. This was nine bucks, 24 ounces. I'm going to try this out and see how it works. What I want to do is get this whole side covered, um, get this side complete, this side complete, just to the point where I can put that base coat of paint on all of it and go from there. That's kind of going to be a stopping point for me. And then I can kind of sit back, publish, edit the video, uh, sit back, evaluate where I want to add more, do more fine tuning. We'll do the uh, another video will come out uh, shortly after this one, where I'll be doing all the additions to um, fine tuning the mountains to making it look like I want to, as well as the dry brushing, the dry brushing, adding the colors and those kind of things. You've also got some ground cover and some trees are going to be added in there as well. So we'll look forward to doing that with you. Uh, that will be the next video um, where we'll be doing all that. This is part one and what we'll be doing in this part is we will just simply be covering the foam. I showed you how I prepare the foam for the, uh, the homemade sculpt mold alternative. I've applied the homemade sculpt mold alternative. I've molded the homemade sculpt mold alternative. I've added some more uh, sculpt mold in certain places where it needed it. I've added some more bumps and crevices in places that I knew I was going to need a lot more. And I've got to add a little more due to base coat and then we'll go from there. So what we're going to do right now is I'm getting ready to mix this up. I'm going to turn around and get to work on this area right here. What I'll be doing is I will be actually using the sculpt mold as an adhesive and I'll be putting some on the back here sticking it I do this right above where my train clearance is because um, my train gets very close to the mountainside over there so what I do above train height is I'll put this in and I kind of always do that where it looks as if I have kind of carved out some of the mountain for the train to fit in there and um, so above train height or about above double train height I'll glue this in and we'll have more of a, a base bulkier base so the mountain comes up more at an angle rather than straight up. I also do some things with the sculpt mold at the end to do some optical illusions that help with that too and I'll share that trick with you at the end.
all the pink foam is covered in sculpta mold. So what I need to do now is uh, I'm going to come in and focus on um, giving it more of a mountain look. Um, as it is, these foam pieces are pretty straight up, and so they're kind of giving the wrong view. So what I've got to do is kind of build up some layers at the bottom and work up so I've got more of a gradual increase. So I'm going to be working on these two first right here. I'm going to be doing it, I'm probably recording with my phone so I can get a closer view of how I'm taking just what is now just a lump and a bump and turning it into what it looks more like a mountain peak. And so I'll be setting my phone up here and uh, be showing you how I kind of fine tune everything and what we got. What we're, just try what we're trying to do is just get the base to look in a general way like I want it to so we can put our first layer of base coat paint on it and then I can go from there and see where I want to add and take away uh, where I might want to add more sculpt to mold or take away from in certain places.
And I want to thank you all for sticking around to the end, everybody. If you have not already, I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, please click the bell icon. If you know any of your modeling friends that might enjoy this video, please share this with them. I would appreciate it. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western, thanking you for stopping in and watching with us today. Take care.